You are watching the Nike EYBL Scholastic at the Air Capital Hoop Fest presented by UBS. Here at Friends University, Wichita, Kansas. First game of the night as Veritas Academy taking on Wasatch Academy. And a pleasant good evening, everyone. Welcome in, Brock Bowling and ESPN National Director of Recruiting. Paul Biancardi with you. And Paul, here we have it to some of the cream of the crop players in the high school ranks here going at it here tonight. How do you like this first matchup? When you play in the EYBL Scholastic, there is always an opportunity for an upset of a ranked opponent. And that is the challenge tonight for Veritas Academy to play nationally ranked Wasatch Academy and get the upset and move up in the standings. And speaking of Wasatch Academy, we'll keep an eye on one particular player, number three, John Mobley. John Mobley Jr. is a dynamic shooting guard. He has Caitlin Clark range. It's deep, 25 feet is an average of his three-point makes. He also has the float game, so when he gets into the paint, he can launch it before the help side defense comes. He's turned into a leader this season. He's the point guard, he's the scoring guard. He is everything for Wasatch Academy. And there is John Mobley, 6'3", senior out of Rochester, New York. And don't be surprised, as, just, as uh, Paul said, if, if he's on the court, he's basically in range. It'll be Wasatch Academy in the gray and Veritas Academy in the black. The opening tap, and here we go. And quickly, Veritas Academy gets a jam by Andrew Nagy to begin the game. He scores by Wasatch Academy. First turnover on Veritas Academy. Here is John Mobley, and he knocks down a long three. Pleasant Utah, shot missing inside, and a rebound by Veritas Academy. All alone down low is Nagy, and he lays it in. He is always willing to compete and to be coached. A lot of under-the-radar guys on this team that are looking forward to the opportunity to competing this weekend. There's team. Uh, they've had some great wins this season. They beat three ranked opponents. That's why they're nationally ranked. But in the EYBL Scholastic, there's the range. And he's wearing number three, John Mobley Jr. Yeah, very appropriate. Wearing number three, hitting his first three of the game from downtown and deep. Yeah, there's nothing that's too deep for John Mobley Jr. And he makes the three off the catch and he can make it off the rhythm dribble. That was a simple step back. Played for a long time, Paul, but that's because he's been good for so long. Yes, he has, and he started at Bishop Gorman, then he transferred to Wasatch Academy. Basket of the game, he has four points, tied at 10 apiece. Fisher Brown, wide open, high arcing three, and it goes in. Mobley to the right, beautiful skip pass. Four of five from three in the game, 0 for three from two-point range. I don't know, the more I watch Somale, 15. Oh, another shot by Mobley. He made... Good point guard, good shooting guard, well-rounded player in the backcourt for this team for Wasatch Academy. They go back door, and there's a slam inside. Just staying in the game, playing with good pace, not rushing, not going too fast. Not many turnovers and a beautiful drive. Back in the game is Aram Soki Urbano. They go inside, wide open and down. Spacing is so important in this game. And a basket is good. It's the leading scorer for Veritas. I love the catch. Two dribbles. He went from almost outside the paint right to the rim. Professionally in England, Germany, and Serbia. Now coaching this team. Here's Paleo. Shot rejected out of bounds on the point. Mena. Mena gets the steal. Turnover on. Wasatch going down the lane and scoring for Veritas is Iker. Soki Arbano had it. Correction, it's uh, Samuel Mena got it blocked. Here comes Mobley up the floor, and he lays it in. No call by the official, but the patience, the poise, the ability not to panic. Under 10 to go. Backdoor pass, and the layup is good by Fisher Brown. He has eight points. Out of four seconds to go here in the first half. Paleo, one second, has to put it up at the buzzer. No. That's the end of the first half of play. What a great first half of action. Veritas challenging Wasatch Academy, but Wasatch 
nailing the three-point shot. They've made six in the first half. They're six for six from the free throw line. You're starting to flex their muscle here in this game. They have the talent, they have the ability, and the zone defense has been terrific. John Mobley Jr. always loves it deep. And one of the players we talked about in the open, John Mobley for Wasatch. He had a pretty good first half, 11 points. Well, he was heating from the outside, John Mobley Jr. He does it off the bounce, does it off the catch. They run a lot of action to get him the ball. He's the point guard, he's the scoring guard, he's the leader of this team. He's got to make sure that other guys are getting good looks. He's kick court. Now Veritas going the other way up the floor. Down six here to begin quarter number three. Wasatch finished the half on an eight-nothing run. Three of the game, he has five points. And that's their first three of this game. Well executed play. Nice back door. Mobley lost it. Brown got it back and puts ability. He's got a pure stroke from the outside. So Chiarbano outside. Shot five. Good pump fake by Nuuli, no look pass. Mansell hits a three. Girth of the strength, but he just sits there, waits on it. He makes defenses try, offenses try to score. Nuuli, nice pump fake. Mobley draws a triple team. Better finisher, but I see him as a screener, a rebounder, low post defender, and in time a finisher. I like that young man. He, he's got a lot of moxie to his game. And sell, wraparound pass, long three by Mobley. Meaning he gets into a shot quickly. It's his shot mechanics. He shoots it through his legs. Trey Young, Steph Curry, Caitlin Clark. Rebound by Wasatch. Lob inside, and the slam goes down by Christopher Nuuli. Can't stop that. He lost a turnover, Veritas. It's seventh, lead pass of the floor. All alone is... Nauli, Soki Urbano. Yeah, that's the next stop for Brown, the floater. Watch out. Here comes Mobley, score the basket and a foul. John Mobley, 18 points in the game on the steal, the hoop, and the harm. He'll head of the line for one. Be a really good on-ball defender. He's just concentrating so much on his playmaking and his shot making. A lot of high school kids don't, don't dig in defensively because they don't have to, but if you play in the EYBL Scholastic. Nine. Lead is down to eight for Wasatch. Good shot fake by Nwuli. Team three by Mobley. Not this time. Got his own rebound. Foul line jumper. Got it. Steal by Brown. Racing down the floor. And missing the jam attempt, but Bond is back in Wichita. Ball third quarter. John Mobley went off. Ten points here in quarter number three. Well, they call him Junie, and he's got deep range, great accuracy, turning into a playmaker. I love the way he looks up the court, throws it ahead, right time, right place defensively, falls into the steal, gets the layup. He was a catalyst. Shot selection, make or miss, you got to get back and then guard them in the half court situation and keep them and run them off the three point line. Eckway, not only shot fakes, that's a different story. The lob and the slam by Eckway. That's his second basket of the game. The assists from Mobley. Eckway's done a nice job in this game. Given his team energy, a presence at the rim, good finisher, and shot blocker. Paleo for Veritas. Inside Nagy lays it in. Stumbles down, turnover on Veritas. Here comes Mobley, the lob for Nwuli, and he slams it in. Rebound, Bone for Wasatch. Nwuli hits a three. And wow. basket. Mobley got in. Mobley and Fisher Brown will have to carry this team the rest of the season. Leo, one more time from three, puts it in. And that's your game.
Wasatch beats Veritas 69 to 58. Paul, your final thoughts on this one. Veritas had a good first half and they challenged Wasatch in this game, but the third quarter, Wasatch really turned it on. The combination of John Mobley Jr., Chris Newley was too much for Veritas. Mobley from the outside, Newley at the rim. Mobley was a playmaker, he was a shot maker in this game, and he took the game over for Wasatch. That's gonna wrap things up for us here for now from Friends University in Wichita, Kansas. Final score of this game, it was Wasatch Academy 69, Veritas Academy 58. Join us near the top of the hour for our second game of the night, Sunrise Christian Academy against Link Academy. For Paul Biancardi, I'm Brock Bowling. So long for now from Wichita.